and welcome to a bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where I'm going to be attempting to do just that for you. I've been waiting for um, a sort of difficult puzzle in the times, and this one looks like it's going to fit the bill. If I click stats, you can see that's that's our own Mark Goodlift there, Magoo, 8 minutes 18, which is a very long time for a times crossword. I would guess that Mark averages about 5 minutes. Um, uh, Matthew Marcus Verlaine, he would definitely average, I would say, seven minutes, so harder than average, um, and hopefully that will make this a decent video. Now, I did just click on this puzzle um, and realised I got the um, the size of the window wrong, so I've, I've had about 10 seconds uh, of my time already. But anyway, let's get cracking and um, and see how we go. So backers Bacchus singing about God in Luxor. Well, God in Luxor is going to be an Egyptian god like Ra. Ra is a short word. Singing, Bacchus, angels. Singing about God in Luxor. I've not got that though. Don't know what that is, I'm afraid. Vital bit of gear. Arrived shortly before opening of mine. An opening of a mine is an addit, believe it or not. A-D-I-T. It's a crossword word that comes up. Bit of gear could be just the letter G. Vital. Gar. Gar. Mm. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I want it to be a word made up of G-A-R-R for arrived shortly, an abbreviation for arrived, and then addit for opening of mine. Opening of mine could be just the letter M. Vital. I don't know what that is. Five down. Possibly failure to affirm what corrupt tennis player should earn. Possibly failure to affirm what corrupt tennis player should earn. I haven't got a clue what that is. OK, so this is definitely harder than normal because I mean, the way I can tell that is not just that I don't know the answers, is that my brain isn't telling me anything about the answers. Um, receding flow of water, that sounds like tide reverse, which would give edit over stone. Receding flow of water, neap. No, I don't like that either. Let's try 15 down. I'm just trying to get some, some words with good starting letters. Hindrance, alumni, old boy, probably OB. Deal with, not keebles first. A hint. Tackle, yes, okay, I have actually got one. So this is obstacle. And the way I got that, you could see, was I thought of alumni being an old boy, and then I thought OB. And then I, then basically what I did was I thought, do I know any eight-letter words for a hindrance, starting with OB? And I do, obstacle. And I haven't, I, I've seen this is tackle without the K, but I haven't quite understood it. Alumni, okay, alumni is plural, isn't it? So it's OBs, old boys. Uh, deal with is tackle, not Keeble's first. Well, the first letter of the word Keeble, as in Keeble College, is what it's trying to allude to here. Um, Keeble College, Oxford. Um, then we get rid of the K and we get tackle without the K. And that's how the clue works. So let's come back here. Receding flow of water over stone. Over can be O, so that could be this O. And then we need a word for a stone. Three letters. Pit. No, okay. Let's try this one. 20 cross. Decorate lady's cloak in orderly fashion. In orderly fashion sounds like tidy, doesn't it? Lady's cloak could be the, the sort of outside letters of the word lady. So that would give us L-Y in, tide, in tidy to mean decorate. No, I don't like that. Um, decorate, don't know. Token overthrow of rulers feasible. Token counter overthrow of rulers feasible. If something's feasible, it's on, isn't it? So coupon. Oh, yes, a coup. OK, so it's a coup, which is an overthrow of rulers, followed by if something's feasible, it's on. Put that together. Coupon, which is certainly a token. Look, get horrible letters. Well, when I say horrible letters, I mean totally useless letters. So let's move on. 24. Writer, essayist, tries to introduce current term of interest. It is essayist. OK, so that's just lucky in that I thought of the synonym. Um, tries, essays. Uh, e -S 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 -S, uh is a word for 
to try. That introduces current. Here's current I from Ohm's law. You might remember Ohm's law, V equals I R. Uh, and the term of interest, um, it seems like it's making some sort of banking reference, but it's not. It's the terminal, the end letter of the word interest, which is that T there. And uh, now we get a Y at the end of 19 down. I'm going to try and use that. Poor scorn on medicine, old vacuous remedy. Okay, well, vacuous is saying empty. So if we if we empty the word remedy, we take out its middle and we just get RY. O is in a valid abbreviation for old. So this ends in ORY. I don't know the answer yet. Poor scorn on pillory. Yes, okay, now I do. Medicine, a pill. Now we, now we get the starting letter of 19 across. Harassed policeman. This is an anagram. Uh, losing months. Okay, I haven't got this yet, but um, I can see policeman is nine letters. I need eight letters, but M is a valid abbreviation for the word months. So if I take M out of policeman and I harass those letters, I shuffle them around, um, then we need an adjective, which means of time when mammals appeared. Uh, so I'm thinking this is going to be a word like Jurassic, but obviously not Jurassic. So a, an era, an age of, um, oh, pl oh, there is a word, isn't there? Paleo, paleo something. It's not paleo, but something like that. I'm not sure. I just don't know the word. I'm going to have to get a lot of checking letters, I think. Egyptian believer collared when speaking. Oh, gosh, yeah. Uh, I, I Again, that is on the tip of my tongue. So what we're, it's a homophone, by the way. So I'm, this, this, we're looking for a word for a, somebody who is a religious person in e Egypt. And like, if you think of the word caught, that can mean collared or nailed. And it's going to be a word like that. So if, if there was an, uh, an Ital Egyptian believer that could be spelled like that, obviously this would be the answer because it would it would sound like C-A-U-G-H-T when speaking, but it would be spelt differently and mean what we need it to, to mean. Um, Collared. I know this word as well. I know I do. I'm just being slow. Uh, seconda. Being out of order. This sounds like an anagram again. Denied full expression. Um, denied full expression. Censored, isn't it? So it was an anagram. Um, and that, okay, oh, that gives me a C here, which is, I hope there isn't a word like this, because that is not the word that I thought it was. Um, all right, let's try 25 across. Wife and I, so I'm thinking W-I, widest, had a widget. Yes, a device is a widget. Why, so how does this work? Wife is a valid abbreviation, W is a valid abbreviation of wife, and I had, well, I had, if you wrote that down in a short form, you'd write I'd, I apostrophe D. So that gives us wid. To purchase is to get. Put it, put it all together, we get widget, and we get a W at the end of 14 down. Slap person tailing gumshoe. Slap. I mean, a gumshoe is a, is a detective which could be something like DI or even PI for private investigator. So I think this is going to mean slap. And unfortunately, I'm not. Oh, eyeshadow. I slap, I suddenly realized is a word for makeup. Have you got your slap on? <laughs> not not an expression anyone's ever said to me, but I have heard it said. I don't know. Oh, I is going to be. Okay, so it's. Yes. Mm. Oh, yes. No, it's clever. It's very clever wording, this. So it is eyeshadow. Um, and the person who tails, the person who dogs, the person who stalks 
the detective might be the eye shadow, the one who shadows them. So the one who shadows the eye, the private eye. So I think that is how that's meant to work. Now, 23 across, let's try this, or maybe 21. Let's try, let's try 23 first. Prepare insufficiently under something. Under cook, uh, maybe for one, ah, oh, under arm. For one style of bowling, it must be under arm. Prepare insufficiently, maybe. I suppose if you arm yourself for something, you are preparing, aren't you? So I think, yeah, I think that's fair enough. Under arm, and under arm obviously is a style of bowling. Logical boat bloke, me. He's one to be welcome. He's one to be welcomed. Ah, okay. So I'm thinking this has got he's an I in it. Co Logic cohesive? Cove is a, yes. Cove is an old word for a fellow or a bloke. As if something's, and if something's logical, it's cohesive. So how does this break down? We've got he's, H-E-S, one, the letter I, Roman numeral for the number one. Um, put all that uh, in the middle of cove and we get cohesive because we are welcoming those letters into the cove. Now, what do we think this is? Court or count at the end? Oh, oh no, it's going to be court. It's a tennis reference, isn't it? So something to court. Oopsie. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Or something of court. Possibly failure to affirm what corrupt tennis player should earn something of course. Um, proceeds of court or something? Failure to affirm. Don't know. Proceeds of it sounds like I'm just getting proceeds of court from the um, what a tennis player should earn. I'm not sure I know the answer. I don't know that expression off the top of my head. Um, oh, so this is the policeman one, isn't it? So something like Pleocene or something. I like, quite like the C there. I quite like the L there. So that would give us Pliocene. Does that seem, oh, pillows, Pliocene, I like more. Pliocene, if, if this L is justified, I think that this will be the answer. Dubious citizen turning up in peculiar places. Well, peculiar places is making me think of an anagram of the word places. So I want to put a citizen, a reversal of the word sit, or a word for citizen. A citizen might be able to be a sit, which would give us T-I-C dubious skeptical isn't it skeptical is the answer i'm not sure if that has got what i th um yeah it does it's got the reversal of cit in it so it's an it is as expected an anagram of places around a reversal of a word for citizen now a sit for a citizen i think that's just an abbreviation i've seen before um but you could see how you could back into that once we knew it was an anagram of places around the edge it wasn't too bad. Um, let's try. Let's try this one. A biblical extract that's intractable. Something verse sounds like a, a perverse. A yeah okay. So the word a here is being used as a synonym for the word per, and you might say, "I'm going to give you three cakes a head," or that could be three cakes per head. So A and per are synonymous. A biblical extract, well, chapter and verse, you've probably heard that expression, meaning the chapter and verse of the Bible. So uh, a biblical extract can be a verse. Per verse is something intractable. Copped, isn't it? I knew that's so bad. So how does this come? That's so bad of me. Um, so <laughs> the way this works, um, C-O-double-P-E-D would be collaring. It would be, be collared. It's a... Uh, would mean collared and obviously if you say this word copped it you say it exactly the same as if you say copped c-o-double-p-p-e-d so it's a homophone for the um for copped and 
it is an Egyptian believer. I just couldn't remember it. So take good notice of nurse. Take good notice of listen to. Hearken to. Take, I don't know. I mean, that's weird. Uh, nurse. I don't know what that is. Um, particular period allocated by fate. Um, I don't know. Uh, fate could be lot, L-O-T. I don't really like that, though. Let's try 12 across. Show off pens, perhaps. Pens are swans. Swap. Uh, a thousand. I think that'll be M, which is the Roman numeral for a thousand. Shows off, flaunts, boasts, brags. Um, pens could be animal pens, like cages or coops. I mean, I very, very likely this letter's an S. Let's try. Let's try and think about this one again. A particular period allocated by fate. Particular period allocated by fate. Oh, I don't know. Um, no, I haven't got that. I'm afraid. Obviously, let's try. Let's try this one got a U near the end of it. Against endless search for survivors from the past. Against is like verses. I'm thinking V at the start here. From the past. Search for survivors. This could be... Okay. Okay. I had a thought. Sur a search is a quest. So if I put an endless quest here, so now I need a word that means antiques, if you're against something, you're anti it. So anti, most of the word quest, gives us survivors from the past, antiques. So can we get this now? We're not going to get any more help for it. Decorate. Uh, ladies cloak. Okay. If you trim something, you decorate it. And ladies' cloak, I had the right idea here, but what I was trying to put was the L and the Y inside a word for orderly fashion. But it's actually orderly fashion that's the definition here. So decorate, trim, ladies' cloak, i.e. the cloaking letters of the word lady, gives us the L-Y and trimly is the answer. So is this opal then for stone? I thought of opal ages ago. Oh, it is because lap. Oh, goodness me. Yeah. So this is a reversal of a flow of water, which is a lap and over O. And then we get the st word for stone opal. I should have got that before because I even thought of it and didn't understand how it could be the answer. Right, those struggling to grasp university, having work stack up here. Those struggling to go, well, it's going to be you. Well, hmm. stack up here. So I think, and I don't know what this is yet. I want it to be something stack up. Here. I think it's going to end in O. OP, because uh, OP is an abbreviation for opus, which is a work, a musical work, and we see it in crosswords quite often. So I'm looking for, a, I think, a five letter word, which means those struggling. I was thinking of the word vias, they, people who vie. And then I wanted to put U in the middle of that. But obviously, that's not going to be a word that actually exists. So I'm actually wondering if it ends in shop. But those struggling would then be... Oh, those struggling will be an anagram. Ah, ah, OK, hang on. Um, stack up here. Oh, OK. Housetop? 
housetop maybe that's probably a word housetop i mean that's that fits if we if we anagram those put u for university inside it add op to the end we get housetop a stack i mean a chimney top a chimney is a stack okay so what it's saying is on your housetop you might find a chimney <laughs> i mean that's very hard that's just very very hard um backers singing about god okay backers singing something singing is singing singing can mean hurts um in certainly in dialectic uh, english singing Co backers singing chorus oh yes oh gosh okay it was far simpler than i'd realized about is circa which can be abbreviated to c a god in luxor is not ra it's Horus, and that gives us Chorus, who are the backing singers. Okay. Served up beer, no one's consumed within district. It sounds like regional. Lager, yeah, I quite like regional. It's got lager in it somehow, I can see. So how's this working? Uh, yeah, uh, yes, okay. So if we, if we look backwards at this word, you can see you've got lager around no... And one again, which is this, no and one. So N O I. And we put the, we're serving it up. It's a down clue so we can reverse um, the word beer, lager, with no one inside it. And if we do that, we get regional, which means within district. Sorry, um, no, district, regional, uh, because we're putting the no one. And actually, how does that, can no one can served up? Within district, I think, is the definition, actually. Within district is regional. Uh, we don't need the within to indicate that we're surrounding the no one because the consumed does that. Okay. Chap has mistakenly begun. That sounds like an anagram of begun again, doesn't it? To restrict pulse. Something bean? Mung bean. Cha yeah, that's going to be right. Uh, mung bean i think is a type of bean i don't think i've ever had one um but i can see that that is man and man is oh, a synonym for chap with an anagram of begun in in the middle of it so so if we reread the clue as it as the wordplay works we've got man has i.e is taking in an anagram of begun um and and it means pulse, which obviously, you know, the, the, the clue is trying to make you think about heartbeat. Um, you know, somebody's trying to, you know, lower their heartbeat, but it's got absolutely nothing to do with that. Uh, okay, well, how's that? Oh, it's not proceeds of court, is it? Look, contempt of court. I don't understand why I quite like contempt of court as an expression and it fits, but I don't understand why it's to do with what a tennis player would earn. OK, let's try 11 across left port, maybe in river beginning to expire. He's put out deportee is the answer. OK, so the only reason I've got that is that I've thought of a short synonym for the word left. Now, left is probably more often in crosswords, the letter L. You might see that, um, you know, L and R for left and right. But because I had the O and the T, port just jumped out at me. And once I see port in the middle of this word and I see he's put out, well, it, it's making me think of deep or T or something like that. Um, and then I can see the river D, D double E. And then the beginning to the word expire, that's this E here. So it all gets, we can put together. Contempt of court is still working. Let's see if we can do 13 across. So standard bore. So contempt, this would be a P. Standard is accepted. Standard bore really like it um standard can be a flag no no actually if this was c at the start let's try that again 
vital bit of gear arrived shortly before opening of mine. Vital is completely crucial. Vital arrived short. Oh, 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 hang on. It's camshaft. Right, and how did I get that? Well, I got that luckily, really, because I, I, I was thinking about contempt, so I was mulling over the sea here. And then I thought of the word came for arrived. And short version of the word came gives us cam. And then we're just thinking of a word that fits. And for some reason, camshaft jumped into my mind. And a shaft, of course, is an opening of a mine. So it's not add it, it's just shaft. Camshaft, vital bit of gear in your engine, I suppose. Although I've probably got that wrong because I know nothing about engines. Um, squiffy contestants, finally. That'll be the S here. Contest the final letter of the word contestants. Given ratings. Well, when you see ratings, uh, I'm already... I'm, I'm thinking of naval ratings, seamen, sailors, squiffy contestants finally given ratings, squiffy, if you're squiffy you are sloshed, loshed I don't think is a word that's of any use. Um, Oh, the, okay, this was the nurse one, wasn't it? Take good notice or attend to. Okay. If you know, a nurse would attend to your needs. So I think that's just a double definition. Um, partic oh, this is the particular period allocated by fate. Particular period. allocated i keep thinking of the word dealt but it's of no use let's try 10 across master satisfy well met would be a word for satisfied to retire for the present pro tem so okay again I've, i mean now i've got this t here and we see the word satisfied i see the word retire which to me means reverse because i read everything in a crossword way yeah, a master is a pro a professional then we reverse our met and we get tem, pro tem means for the present. Ah, so this is time something. Time slot. Particular period allocated by fate. Times lot. Okay. I thought of lot as well, didn't I? But then I thought I was thinking plot. I should have been thinking of the S. Particular period. That must be time slot. Allocated by fate. I think it's sort of a cryptic definition. I quite like a question mark if it is at the end of that. If something's allocated by fate, it's times lot. Um, I think that's what it's saying. Oh no, it's not. It's cleverer than that. It's cleverer, cleverer than that. Sorry. By is a word for times in mathematics. If you go, what's three by four? You're saying what's three times four? So it's times and then lot for fate. Um, so the word allocated here is, is like being used as a link word between the definition, which is particular period. Oh, I suppose, no, I th all right, okay, no, I've changed my mind again. I think the definition is particular period allocated, which is a time slot. I mean, arguably, you don't need the allocated for that, but it's more precise to have it. So it's just a good clue. You just have to struggle to actually understand exactly how it works. So shows off, I'm thinking uh, it's not flaunts, but that's what keeps jumping into my brain. Um, pens, perhaps, with either M or G for grand collected. Shows off. That's appalling that I can't just write that in. That is so bad. Oh, this still looks like contempt of court. Possibly failure to affirm. What corrupt tennis player should earn? I want it to be a word, you know, that means earnings here. A tennis player would earn 
the proceeds of their of, of what goes on in the tennis court not the contempt of court I don't get that at all standard it's the it's the standard way we do things it's the accepted way we do things bore why is bore accepted and that would give us a d here squiffy contestants finally s given ratings Given. okay so it's probably not it's probably not a reference to sailors it's probably is given ratings so it's going to be something like um, graded a word like graded but it's not graded because there aren't any words that begin SGR given ratings prized squiffy is completely and utterly discombobulated um, <laughs> um, okay oh I don't know I don't know oh we've got this little lattice of naughty words that I can't get shows off um, If you show off, you brag. Pens. What could pens be? Pen. If you pen. Pens. Pens, perhaps. Writing implements. Swat. So I th swans are pens. So why is it sw swan shows off? Oh, swanks. Oh, okay. That's mean. That's so mean. I mean, my first thought of pens was swans. But my last thought for what 1000 could be was K. Um, I mean, it's 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 really, <laughs> it's quite rare to see K used for 1000. But it, I think it is valid. Okay, so what's this then? Squiffy. Oh, golly. I mean, I think it is going to end in EDs. Oh, crude, maybe. Screwed. Rating. Given ratings, I think, is saying if you give a ship ratings, if you give a ship sailors, you'd describe that ship as being crude. And screwed for squiffy, probably. So this does look like it's accepted then, doesn't it? And this does look like it's contempt. Let's put that in. I don't think I'm going to come up with anything better. I don't really understand bore here for accepted. Let's, let's see if it's correct. Submit. It is correct. Okay, so what we can do now is to try and um, double check why. So bore, let's look that up. Bore the pants off. Bore... Uh, a nuisance, a tidal flood, past participle, or past tense of bear. Is to bear to accept? To admit of? Um, to have? To sustain? Accepted? Yeah, okay, I think it is that, isn't it? It's saying, it is using it in that sense. If you bear something, you accept it. I think that's fair. So if you bore it, if you, you would have accepted it. I bore, I bore the tortures of, I don't know, watching reality TV. I accepted the tortures. Yeah, that's fair. It's fair. It's just me being slow. Standard is accepted. That's fine. Um, did we have any other queries as we were going through? I don't think so. It looks like it might be a pangram today. I can see a Q. Are there any J's or Z's? There's certainly a few odd letters. No, maybe, maybe it's not a pangram actually, but clearly a Friday type puzzle because a lot of, a lot of difficult clues or a lot of well-worded, tight word plays um, 
that are all fairly well phrased. Contempt, I don't really understand that actually. What's that getting at? Possible, possibly failure to affirm. Let's just look up what contempt of court means. Because to me, contempt of court means not turning up. Contempt, uh, it's, not, it's not even listed as an expression. Conte oh, I've put contempt to court, that's why. Contempt of court. Uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't want to. It doesn't want uh, as in contempt of court, but it doesn't say what it means to disregard the rule of law, an offence against the dignity of the court. Yeah, OK, that's exactly what we'd expect. What corrupt tennis player should earn? Oh, OK, right. Is that saying that the audience of a corrupt tennis player would give them the contempt of the court. I think that must be what it... Yeah, earn here is really... They would... Uh, the corrupt tennis player would earn, i.e. they would deserve the contempt of the court, of the tennis court. It's, uh, okay, I think that's a bit, a bit of a stretch, to be honest. What corrupt tennis player deserves, perhaps, might be. I suppose deserves and should earn are synonymous. There we go, though. That's how to solve a difficult times crossword. Um, thank you for watching. I hope that that was useful. Let me know in the comments if it was. And let me know in the comments if you want to see more of these. Oh, we should just check Pliocene, when the mammals emerged. Um, Pliocene, yeah, an epoch of the tertiary period following the Miocene epoch and having a greater proportion of molluscan species now living. <laughs> exactly, I think I said that when I read the clue. Um, and we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.